Thank you so much, Cindy, for inviting me over today to check out your beautiful flowers. I'm really excited to learn how to buy flowers at the grocery store. And instead of just taking off the plastic and the tissue paper and popping them in something, I want to learn how to make them so beautiful like yours are. What can you tell us about that? Oh, sure, Sarah. I'm just so happy that you're here. Um, we have flowers from um, the local grocery store. Flowers in January are not the best. The selection is kind of low, but we get flowers now from all over the world. Um, but certain flowers are just not going to be as available as others right now. But what I did find, you see here, um, roses, tulips, lilies, um, mums, uh, we have uh, astromeria. Out in front we have... Look at these lilies. The lilies are beautiful. And they smell amazing. Yes. I, well, that's that's what's so nice about the fresh flowers. Hypernicum berries, um, lilies down here and greenery. You always want to buy some greenery to make sure you have a base for your bouquet. So I went to the Simply Fresh this morning to see what they had that just came in. I want the fresh flowers that just came in. However, I'm looking at this bouquet and when you see the roses are a little bit larger, this one was probably there a couple of days where other um, flowers are tighter. Sarah, can you hold up one of those pink roses from that bouquet? Yes. So do you see the difference oh in this pink rose? And this pink rose will become that yellow rose at some point. So, but I loved the combination. So I look for color, texture, um, size in the flowers, but you know, mostly, I guess mostly color. I loved all the pinks I saw there today, the, the um, tulips. So again, I wanted you to see the difference. This is an open tulip, not fully open. And these Sarah has are, Closed tulips. I'd prefer to get the clothes. I know it's going to last longer in my house. Right. Um, and look at these sweet roses, how tiny they are. And like they are the, sweet. You've Heart also done roses. sweet <laughs> roses yeah. for Valentine's yeah. Day. You've also done such a beautiful job with the sizes. They're all, they're all different sizes. Yes. You want to make sure you get a variety of sizes. Um, you can think in your home, you can think, where am I going to put it? That's the first thing you want to stand there and just like figure out where is the arrangement going to go. Um, I have lots of containers in my house. I love different containers of different sizes. I have a lot of the white ironstone pieces. Um, these are some French um, oil pottery jugs. And then there's like simple cylinders. So, and this is, a pitcher is really nice. Pieces like this we do in our class. We have a class coming up um, for Easter. So it's in early April and we use these crates and we put foam in the crate. There's foam down there, Sarah, if you want to show them the foam. Mm -hmm. So there's a special foam that you would need. It's called Oasis and you wet that. So if you have more of a container shape like this or like a container like this, you would use some foam inside. So today we're not going to use the foam. We're going to keep it simple in the glass vases. So okay. our Easter class um, Easter arrangement, we do a Christmas one, Easter, and then a Mother's Day. Um, we use hydrangea. I use flowers in season. And they're always going to be your nicest flowers in season. Um, however, I think I've got some nice colors here today. Absolutely. I've got my clippers. Yep. Let's get started. Okay. So, Sarah, if you want to pick some of these out, just pull that out. And what you're going to do is take all the green off. And it's kind of wilted because it's been in that package. And most important thing to remember. How high do you clip them? Right. Because this is how you're going to table. Yeah. All right, so you wouldn't take this and put it in here, right? It's just, it's, it's full. That's what it's mine too hot. like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what you want to do, this is the, 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 the vase I'm using. You want to take, it's usually a, the height and a half. So the height of the vase and a half. Height and a half. Height and a half. So I just kind of eyeball that and cut. You can cut on an angle or straight. And then we just start creating. So you don't have to put every single flower into your arrangement. And then I might mix in, so I like these because they're, they're short, right? I might mix in some of my sweethearts. So when you're looking for flowers, you want berries, you want greens, you want a focal flower. So for the focal point of this arrangement, So while you're finishing up this arrangement, yes. 
I have loved coming to your Art in the Barn studio and my girls have come here for years for birthday parties and craft nights and the sip and paint nights with all the moms. Um, I just absolutely love it here. You offer knitting, um, you offer painting nights, um, soon you're going to have charcuterie board nights. What, what else do you do with, with kids and adults both? We're doing mosaic um, stepping stones. We're painting a seashell beach bag. We're painting a serving tray. And these are some of our paint and sips. And then summer camp projects include textile art, photography, sculpture, and clay. And these are, this is some of our knitting and the throw. So beautiful. It's really fun. We've had a good time at macrame. So you purchased this farmhouse, and what, what is the year it dates back to? 1742. 1742. Mm -hmm. And you have this spectacular barn on your property. You're located here in Furlong, in yes. just outside of Doylestown, just a couple minutes from the borough. Yes. And you offer these almost weekly, if not more often than that, right? Um, every Friday we have something going on. Um, Saturdays and Sundays we keep open for private parties. Um, we have after school art for kids on Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, and then Thursday nights also for guest artists. So um, the charcuterie boards, um, and we have a woman that does um, the art ecology. She does terrariums. She's great. Yeah, so we try to stretch it out to um, accommodate the community. And uh, we have a new pottery artist that's in the neighborhood that is coming in to teach um, how to um, build, hand build clay pots and mugs and draw on them. She's very talented. Um, and, and let's not forget all of your great summer camps. When the kids are the home summer all camp. summer, it's really nice for them to come and, and yeah. craft with their friends for a week. And they love it. They absolutely have such a great time. They take over. <laughs> they take over the barn and we love it. So these bouquets that I made today are all from flowers that I got at the grocery store. Some are big bouquets, mixed bouquets. I bought single bouquets of greenery and some single bouquets of flowers that I saw in the big bouquets to sort of extend them and make them more of a mass of color. And give them so much personality in all these different containers you chose. Yes, yeah, so I had them all in the house, all the containers. Um, I love collecting the white ironstones, I have a lot of that. And some of these um, did come from flowers that were delivered to me. Um, and I save, every, save all my containers. Um, so I think that with everything I got today, I really created a lot of centerpieces. They're beautiful, and spectacular. They, they smell good and the colors are nice and bright. Um, everything looks really fresh. We kind of got rid of anything that looks a little wilty. Um, but I think everything, this one especially is my favorite. I think that came together really nice. Yes, it did. And again, texture, berries, um, softer flowers like roses, greenery, um, really make it all come together. And the height. Thank you for having us. I feel like I've learned so much about how to take grocery store flowers and make them really spectacular in my home or I can always think of someone who could use flowers yes. to make their home a little more cheerful. Cindy, I can't wait for your next workshop. My friends and I will be here. Great. I'm looking forward to it. It should be a blast. It will. Yeah.